aluminum resistant plants. I don't think I've heard anybody ask that question. Okay. They tell so, the crowd that they can't like scream to, to raise their hand. To you. So that would be your notice to draw to a conclusion, please. Yes, sir, I was just going to do that. I would like to ask you to put a little bit of funding towards some real testing programs of snow and rain and vegetation. Now, I've tested lichens and found very high levels in the lichens, and they get all of their nutrients from the air and the rain. So it's a good guideline, and I think you would, you would find out a lot of things to Thank help you, Mr. support this. Francis Mangalis, followed by Jeff Nelson. Now, Francis, he's my favorite. <laughs> He has no fear, this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank I you for him. the opportunity. I am a retired scientist, bachelor's cum laude in forestry, master's in zoology, 35 years, USDA scientist, soil conservation service, U.S. Forest Service, civil service equivalents in range, wildlife, fisheries, geology, agriculture, soils, ornithology, entomology, botany, of mycology, hydrology. Am I qualified to speak? Just letting you know it. Okay, these previous guys... I've watched exactly what they do, and yes, they are correct. I've seen exactly the same stuff, so ditto marks on those. Insects. I've done studies in Siskiyou County. They're at 20% of normal. The aquatic insects basically made a nosedive in 2006 to about 20% of normal. So far this year, I've sampled 200 trout stomachs. 98% of them are empty. So uh, sorry about the trout fishing, fellows. The mayflies, stoneflies, dipteris, and caddisflies are uh, damn near gone, except in the areas where they're so spring. I'm going to remind you to address the Board of Supervisors, please. The terrestrial sampling is down to about 20% of normal, except for pest species like ants. Uh, we're seeing a loss of the major bird species, and as the gentleman said, the ecosystem is unraveling, and Audubon's been telling you that for years. You want some figures? Okay, latest water test. Tested the rain. 13,100 micrograms per liter of aluminum in the rain in 2013. Normally, it should be zero. So 13,100 is pretty damn much, folks. It used to be zero. Then it was 100s in the 2000s. And then in, uh, since 2010, it's into the 1,000s and the latest 13,100. In the snow on Mount Shasta, pretty... I'm going to pause it for a minute. Aluminum is sodium fluoride. It's the same thing they put in your toothpaste, your baby food, your cereals, your ice cream. They've been putting it in your food, your cosmetics, mercury, lead. It is a carcinogenic. It is very toxic on your skin. It's extremely toxic in your body. And if you brush your teeth with it, it says on the label, if you swallow, seek poison control immediately. Well, your body is systemic. If you put it in your mouth, it absorbs into your bloodstream immediately. It's kind of like putting B12 on your tongue. It goes directly into the bloodstream. So what he's talking about aluminum is he's talking about nanoparticulates aluminums. These are extremely toxic and you're breathing, breathing them. And this is in California at 13,000 micrograms. And let me tell you something, here in Louisiana, it's worse. We've got BP oil spill. We've got Mississippi pumping with a jet engine that they've targeted an area to where they can't be heard and they can, they make puffy clouds, chemtrail puffy clouds. So not only do we have chemtrails, but we've got jet engines pumping toxins in the air. They're also pumping the seawater out of the Gulf of Mexico, which our dogs can't swim in it, we can't swim in it. 13 people died the other day of a flesh-eating virus. We can't go into the Gulf of Mexico anymore. The most plentiful body of water of fish in the world is toxic. BP, chemtrails, fracking, all the water runs downstream. And the Gulf Stream circles the coastline of the dead zones that were created not only by BP but by chemtrails. We're losing a football field a minute here in Louisiana of land. We have a serious problem. And not only that, it's toxic. We're being eaten away by toxic water because of the oil companies, the pharma corporations, the banks, all raping and pillaging Mother Earth. A literally an alien invasion. You want to see an alien invasion? Go to Utah. 
and look at the copper mines. Go to Oppenheimer diamond mines. Go to the oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico and you'll see the raping and pillaging of Mother Earth. What do you say? We need oil? No, we don't. Your car runs on water. Yes, oh, what? No, it doesn't. It runs on fuel. Fuel is a catalyst for the water, friends. Take and boil water. I mean, boil grease. And then throw some water on it and see the nucleated atom of water exploding. The atomic bomb uses a water atom called a hydrogen bomb. They compress it. A diesel engine is compressed water atoms. They've known how to run cars off of water the whole time, but they couldn't tell us that because then everybody would be equally wealthy because the water belongs to the planet. They've been harnessing us and controlling us for years. If they're not aliens, then they're demons. I don't know what they are, but they're not the creatures of God. Water is the real target for the global elites in your religions, in your Hollywood, in your media, in your governments now. The government has been taken over by corrupt banks, foreign Federal Reserve setting up targets, FEMA, foreign, IRS, foreign, the laws, the courts, the water laws, the maritime laws, all foreign. Straw man law, look it up. Water law, look it up. It is laws that invade our Constitution. The Constitution was a divorce from globalist climate engineers and globalist bankers and globalist pharma corporations and, and globalist raping and pillaging of the land. Right here, I live in St. Tammany Parish, and they're about to frack. They fracked Kentwood. That's where the water is shipped all over the world. Gatorade. They fracked that land. They gave royalties to a cow farmer that is soon to have dead cattle. They, nanotechnology is eternal. Pesticides, nanotechnology. Same thing they're spraying on you. It's the same thing. Now they're coming for the Abita. You've ever drank an Abita beer, Abita water? It is a deep water aquifer that we have that will make this city richer than any city in the planet if we just protect our water. What they do is they pump underground, they tap into the aquifer, they suck out the good water just like they're doing in the Great Lakes. What's happening in Lake Erie? Algae plumes. Red algae, green algae, you can't drink the water, and the government's delivering water. What's happening in Palestine? Same thing. What's happening in Iran and Iraq? Same thing. Government taking water. If the people want water, they got to go to the governments to get the water. The wells are illegal. It's a law-breaking law. You can't touch the water. That's their water. Are we going to let them come to America and take our water? Water is life. You're water. You're just a water molecule walking around with a little bit of stardust. So nanotechnology permanently kills the water. They're drilled into deep water aquifers. They don't care about this planet. They've got their own water. They're going to, they have taken and stolen all the water, and they're going to now sell it to us and create hydrogen cars. And then they're going to kill off the elderly to the where children don't even know any difference. Look, our children are going to do this. They're going to wake up one day and they're going to go, you know something, Mommy, Daddy, I wish I had some water because I would be rich. It's exactly how we thought about oil. This is your children's future, and this is exactly what they're doing. This is, they're not, they don't care about the plants and the animals and all that stuff. They are targeting water because water is a real fuel. There was a guy that created a hydrogen car. They offered him billions of dollars for it. He said no. He wound up dead. Everybody that speaks the truth winds up dead. This guy will probably wind up dead. Dane Wigington will probably wind up dead unless he signs a contract with the devil. I'm going to continue uh, with this 35-year-old USFS biologist, Mr. Francis. I, I guess he pronounced it Mangles. This steam mount shaft is 61,000 feet. No, excuse me. 8,000 foot level, 61,000 micrograms per liter. Four times the amount that is found in the soil up there. Where in the hell is this stuff coming from if it's not coming from the soil? Um, now, normal, again, it's, uh, you know, these tests are international in scope. We're seeing this all over the world, guys. Okay, 
pH of acid soils is 20 times more alkaline. Okay, of course they're doing it all over the world. Because all over the world there's free water. This is the control of water. See that right there? That's your new water. Controlled by the corporations. There you go. You want some water? You gotta pay for it. The aluminum in the soil has doubled. Oh, I forgot something. And not only do you have to pay for it, but we've mixed some fluoride and toxic chemicals and dyes and aspartame and MSGs so that you be fat and we can be rich and you can be slow killed and we can get rich off the medications and the pharmacies to mask the illnesses of the water that we created. That's the real agenda. In the last 10 years, the rain normal was 5.6. It's 20 times more alkaline. Aluminum blocks essential nutrients. I am unable in my garden to restore normal pH, and that's because nanoparticles are now in the circulatory systems of both plants and humans. So welcome, fellow guinea pigs. Uh, the collapse and decrease of agriculture is something I worry about even more than the previous info about autism and Alzheimer's. Just about there, okay. See my paper, Geoengineering What We Know. The latest update is 71114. It's available, and nobody has been able to correct it or debunk it for five years. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Magnus. Jeff Nelson, followed by Russ Bazooka. Okay, Dane Wigington was a genius. This guy was a genius. This is a collaboration of very wise, godlike people who care about you and your children. It's time for you to care about yourselves. We can't keep fighting for your children and you do nothing. We've got to eventually convince you. Look at all these people in the audience. Do you think they think that chemtrails are fake? It's an illusion of their fictional reality? No. You would look at this county. When they ended this meeting, the guy said, we're going to investigate this. Well, no, they won't. They will be silenced. It's up to you, my friend. If everybody on the planet right now said, I am not taking this crap no more, I refuse to pay my house payment, I won't pay taxes, I won't vote, I won't send my kids to school, I won't buy gas, I won't go to work, I won't do nothing until you stop spraying me like a freaking guinea pig. And you fix the chemicals that are in our food and you fix this. You fix it, we'll go back to work and be slaves again. But I promise you, we won't ever return the slaves because these people will self-destruct themselves. I promise you. The New World Order is the judgment of God. It's here. We are living in the days of Noah. That's obvious. Where men rise above men. And men pretend to be gods of men. From the religion, to the courts, to the counties, to the sheriff. You all have a choice money or God. It's that simple. Money or God. Be eternally dark. Let me tell you something. The wrath of not following the covenant of God. I don't know what it is. Nor do you. But I know one thing. Jesus followed the light. He rejected money. He rejected the planet. Satan offered them the world to be the king of the planet. He said, no, no thanks. I'll just stay here with these poor people and run from the law and try to teach truth. And then the cities scream, crucify him! Well, guess what's going to happen with the cities if we don't wake up united in one conscience of God? That man that just spoke? The men who take the checks from the banks will all scream, crucify him. And their medias will scream, crucify him. He's a liar. And then they're going to come up with a cover story. And then they're going to say, well, this is why we did it. And then they're going to say, this guy was a moron. Crucify him. If you don't wake up. I bet you this nanotechnology has not only created a mind control weapon, but has created a separate stratosphere, an energy weapon, your mind has no firewall. Now they can resonate smart meters through your mind, chimatical frequencies. I know many of you have not looked this up, but it's extremely real. You are a being of light. You are an energy being. 
And if you live in the lower chakra, then you're a being of Satan. If you live in the heart, in the mind, like these people do, you are a being of truth. And you will passionately fight for truth. There's a global movement, targeted individuals, gang stalking, to where people who are enlightened, awakened, who fear nothing but God's judgment, are speaking to the people. God has marked the people that are to awaken the people, and we know how to recognize the difference between good and evil immediately. And we're teachers of the light. These men are teachers of the light. I promise you. I can watch TV and sense immediately the dark side. I know exactly who they are. I know what they're doing. I know what their agenda are. I can watch a movie and I can write down things that have factual evidence in them with satanic symbols, mind control, and placing pictures in your head. I watched a movie the other day, something about a, a little boy dying and he went and saw Jesus and, and th there's an eye of, of raw, of, of the all-seeing eye, a, a satanic symbol. When God says, no symbols. And then at the end, there's a symbol of what Jesus is supposed to look like. Here's Jesus, a picture. Well, they already know who Jesus is, who's going to come in and pretend and deceive us and say, here, here's Jesus. Jesus was doing this. Jesus was spraying these chemtrails. Jesus is not a violent person. God is love. He doesn't kill and murder. It's all us. It's men choosing to do these things to us. It's not God. And they're going to tell you God did it. Or an asteroid. Or an alien. I don't know what they're going to tell you on their stupid cover story. But I know one thing. They're going to scream crucify them to these men that are fighting for your children. Unless, see all these people? These are children of the light, my friend. These are awakened conscience beings that are self-aware, aware of God, and they know who they are, they know what they are, and they're love. They're just love, that's it, they're just love. They're holding their hands up in honor of love. God bless, this is a meeting of Shasta County, California, of a group of very elite scientists that are trying to warn you that we are being treated like rot rats, and these men have done crimes against humanity and they need to be prosecuted. Listen, a wolf never follows a weak leader. They eat them. And they follow God's laws. They chase the elk for 70 miles until the elk or the alpha chooses the weakest elk. They follow the laws of God. All dogs come from a wolf. All cats come from a lion. God didn't create all these Yorkshire Terriers. He created the wolf. And the wolf follows God and God's laws. Are we not smarter than a wolf? A wolf eats a weak leader. He eats the weak. He kills them. This is God's genetic pattern of our lives and we've lost track of reality. We follow a TV and money instead of God's pattern of genetic species. When you're born, they inject you with poison so that you lose self. And you forget who you are and what you are. The aluminum particulates, autism, makes you dumb. This is a deliberate attempt to make you stupid. And we teachers, we just keep trying to teach. What are we going to have? Robot humans? Stardust and water robots. Because that's what your education system is trying to accomplish. They hate the parents. The parents and the families are being broken up by the courts. People are turning against people. There's a movement right now to turn the police against the people. It's all media-driven fear box, propaganda, television was never created for entertainment. Football is not entertainment. It's two men battling men instead of uniting as one conscience. And I know you love your football. But when your children are being poisoned 
in all facets of their life, from fracking to oil to electronic uh, brain control to a 220 volt microwave oven sitting on your house using the negative ground wires as a radiation emitter and the smart appliance as a privacy tool to surveillance you to make sure you don't tell the people the truth and that's what's happening could you imagine the world that our children are going to live in if we don't wake up right now I'm not selling you fear I'm telling you the truth. I'm not judging you. I'm telling you the truth. And there is a difference. I promise you. I'm not throwing stones. I am repeating truth. And that truth comes to me from prayer and tears and sufferings. I don't turn to hate, revenge, and fear when I suffer. I turn to God. And I serve the Lord in obedience. He is the one creator. He gave us this beautiful planet. And these men are destroying it. And it's time to get rid of the non-alpha leaders. And let the alpha leaders go back to where they belong. God bless.